Zimbabwe's ruling party will discuss the impeachment of President Robert Mugabe Monday after the 93-year-old despot ignored a deadline to end his nearly four decades in power following last week's military coup. Impeachment could see the world's oldest ruler kicked out by a vote in parliament and would represent an ignominious end to the career of the grand old man of African politics, who was once lauded across the continent as an anti-colonial hero. ZANU-PF Chief Whip Lovemore Matup told Reuters the party's members of parliament would meet Monday to start mapping out the president's removal. He had already been removed as party leader. Advertisement Zimbabwe's President Robert Mugabe delivered a rambling address on Sunday, but didn't resign. AFP, Getty Images Mugabe stunned Zimbabweans in a rambling late-night Sunday television address by avoiding any mention of resignation. There was even speculation that he read the wrong speech in his live television address, or skipped over passages about standing down. Anxious Zimbabweans have been trying to decipher a barely audible aside comment he made to military chief Constantino Chiwenga at the end of the address. In the audio, which is not clear, Mugabe refers to a long speech or a wrong speech. Moments after the speech, war veterans leader Chris Mutsvangwe told Reuters they would lead public protests in the streets of Harare, cranking up the pressure on Zimbabwe's ruler of the last 37 years. Play Facebook. Twitter embed. Mugabe fails to resign in national address, contrary to expectation 132 autoplay autoplay. Copy this code to your website or blog script var player instance equals video obj, autoplay false, associated playlisteral colon http slash slash feed dot the platform dot com slash f slash 2 e 2 e j c slash n n d underscore 2 1 4 2 6 4 7 3. Availability state colon available, canonical URL colon https slash slash www.npnews.com slash video slash Zimbabwe President Mugabe fails to resign in national address contrary to expectation 10994217635688, caption links colon, default association colon NBC News slash topic slash Africa, description colon Zimbabwe's president of 37 years, Robert Mugabe addressed the nation on state TV but failed to his announce his resignation which was called for by the ruling party ZANU-PF, duration 92, duration ISO colon PT1M 32.092S, GUID colon F underscore lawn underscore Mugabe address underscore 171119, has caption false, MES version 2, MPXID colon 10994217635688, Native video false, playback is disabled false, pub date colon 2017 11 19 t 20 colon 12 colon 41.000 plus 000, short URL colon https slash slash www.npnews.com slash video slash Zimbabwe President Mugabe fails to resign in national address contrary to expectation 10994217635688. Source colon NBC News. Thumbnail colon HTTPS slash slash media 2.snpnews.com slash i slash msnbc slash components slash video slash 201711 slash f underscore lawn underscore mugabe address underscore 171119.jpg. Title colon Mugabe fails to resign in national address, contrary to expectation. Video underscore playlists ID colon MMLSNND underscore 21426473, label colon world news, video type colon web extra, video assets format colon MPEG4, asset type colon once URL, public URL colon slash slash link dot the platform dot com slash s slash 2e2ejc slash u7ycsz1e share, width 0, height 0, bitrate 0. Duration 114, duration ISO colon PT1M54S, comma format colon MPEG4, asset type colon Limelight MP4, public URL colon slash slash link dot the platform dot com slash s slash 2e2ejc slash xjgbs logs, width 424, height 240, bitrate 500000, duration 92. Duration ISO colon PT1M32.092S comma format colon MPEG4, 
asset type colon limelight mp4 public url colon slash slash link dot the platform dot com slash s slash 2 e 2 e jc slash web underscore o 2 t underscore with 640 height 360 bit rate 8000000 duration 92 duration iso colon pt1 m 32.092 s Earls colon canonical colon https slash slash www.npnews.com slash video slash Zimbabwe President Mugabe fails to resign in national address contrary to expectation. 10994217635680 short colon https slash slash www.npnews.com slash video slash Zimbabwe President Mugabe fails to resign in national address contrary to expectation 10994217635680 type colon widget widget underscore type colon inline video placeholder it video underscore mpx underscore 10994217635680 underscore 30 next playlist next video index 0 is loaded false window dot news equals window dot news News dot article has video equals true. News dot video instances equals news dot video instances. News dot video instances dot push. Player instance. ZANU PF's Central Committee on Sunday named Emerson Nangagwe as its new leader. It was Mugabe's sacking of Nangagwe as his vice president, paving the way for his wife Grace to succeed him, that triggered the army to seize control on Wednesday. Advertisement. Related. Mugabe makes post-coup appearance but where's Gucci Grace? The once formidable Mugabe is now a virtually powerless figure. He is largely confined to his private home by the military. On Saturday, hundreds of thousands took to the streets of the capital Harare to celebrate Mugabe's expected downfall and hail a new era for their country. The huge crowds in Harare have given a quasi-democratic veneer to the army's intervention, backing its assertion that it was merely affecting a constitutional transfer of power, rather than a plain coup, which would risk a diplomatic backlash. The military appears to favor a voluntary resignation to maintain a veneer of legality in the political transition. Mugabe, in turn, is likely using whatever leverage he has left to try to preserve his legacy or even protect himself and his family from possible prosecution. Advertisement Related why reversal of elephant trophy ban comes at an odd time. But some of Mugabe's opponents are uneasy about the prominent role played by the military, and fear Zimbabwe might be swapping one army-backed autocrat for another, rather than allowing the people to choose their next leader. Armored vehicles manned by soldiers were still stationed on some street corners in the capital on Monday.